So the open borders crisis is not just affecting Texas and Arizona and California. Two weeks ago, hundreds of migrants landed in the Florida Keys. So many arrived, they shut down a national park. Florida, a state celebrated for its diversity, is facing an unprecedented challenge. A wave of emigration that's raising questions about its impact on local communities, jobs, and resources. Who are these newcomers, and how are they reshaping the Sunshine State? These concerns are not unfounded, but it's essential to approach this topic with fairness and understanding. Not every immigrant poses a threat, and many come here seeking the American dream, just as our ancestors did. There are no signs that this invasion is going to stop, so the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, has just activated the Florida National Guard. He's also announced he's considering another major step to secure this country's borders, or at least his state's borders. He says he's weighing a ban that prevent China from purchasing real estate in Florida. So they've been uh, heavy in this ever since we activated Tucker over the last week to 10 days. Basically, Biden is leaving the Coast Guard out to dry. He's not sending any more uh, vessels, any more support. They don't have enough to intercept all the boats that are trying to come primarily from Cuba, but also from Haiti. So what we're doing with our assets, we're out there in the Florida Straits. Uh, we're using reconnaissance. We are alerting to the Coast Guard when boats are there. We're stopping boats and then the Coast Guard are picking these folks up. And here's the thing, Tucker, you know, we think that some of this is absolutely being orchestrated by the Cuban government. Uh, we think there's a lot of human smuggling going on. So not only is this not good for the Florida Keys to have people dumped on, uh, on, on their property, uh, some of these people that are on these boats are being mistreated. And so I think we've seen a decline in the number of vessels uh, that are in the water. We have not had as many landings, actually very few uh, lately. Uh, so it is working as a deterrent, but it's our sense that they're going to start trying to change their tactics. So we're going to be watching and we're going to be responding in kind. And then there's Governor Ron DeSantis, a man unafraid to make waves, even in the choppiest of political seas. His ban on Chinese property ownership has ignited fierce debates across the nation. Some hail him as a defender of our sovereignty, a guardian of our soil. Others accuse him of stoking the flames of prejudice, of denying hardworking Chinese individuals their shot at the American dream. The fact that you're willing to do this is itself a deterrent to smugglers, of course. So one of the, the challenges in Florida, so many people have moved here that real estate prices have gotten really high. Foreign countries, China specifically buying up more real estate doesn't help any American. This is happening in other states as well. What is your idea for dealing with this? We want no CCP land purchases. And obviously they're not gonna do it directly. They will have shell companies. Right. So we're gonna have to have a system in place to scrutinize this. But why would we want them buying farmland? They had very little farmland in the United States even 10 years ago. Now they have significant holdings not as much in Florida, but you do have it in other parts of the country. Why would we want the CCP to own land near a military base or own critical infrastructure? Right. So we're looking for a flat ban. And so we're going to work with the Florida legislature to get that done. Tucker, American policymakers for a generation have been empowering the CCP. They said it would end up working out. China would become a democracy. In fact, uh, this is a very serious threat to our country. Why would we want them to have even more influence over American society than they already do? Well, the, the National Guard, we control. I mean, it's, we're putting resources. You know, we have a big budget surplus, Tucker, so we can do that. And people are very happy. You know, we're taking care of the vessels that are landing. Otherwise, the homeowners would have to pay $2,500 a pop. So we're stepping right. in where the federal government's failing. I think more states can do it, Tucker. But honestly, we should not have to be doing this. The federal government should be taking care of the of immigration course. issue, and they should be taking care of the CCP issue. With this administration, we know neither of those two things are going to happen.